Hey, today we're going to go over how to modify Tomb Runner. So a few things we're going to be covering are increasing the amount for the value of coins, max score, so just setting your score, and also unlocking all the characters. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to do, just exit the game. And if you're looking for the games, it's just this game icon, play game, and search for Tomb Runner. So I'm using Chrome, and uh, to inspect the uh, the web browser, all you have to do is right click, inspect. So now you can see uh, we're looking at like the elements of the page. All we care about are the sources, so the files. So as soon as we start playing, you can't see it yet. You can see this index HTML is created. Open it up and navigate to the game.min.js. This is where all the, the code runs for the game. And we're gonna set a breakpoint. So all you have to do is right click, add breakpoint. And be careful um, of the pretty print because it gets pretty buggy when you try to edit it. I don't think it actually allows you to edit, which we'll have to do later. So unfortunately, you'll have to leave the code like this. I will have a, a link to a copy of the modified file I created, which you can just copy and paste into here later. But for now, place the breakpoint, exit the game, hit play again, and it should break. Yep, pause in debugger. And I'm just gonna make all these changes at once because for whatever reason, this game takes 10 minutes to compile after you make the changes. So try to make this as painless as possible. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set our in-game score. And the score is actually set in two places, one for Facebook and just one for the game itself. I guess Facebook's probably the most important one just so you can show off to your friends, your new high score. But what we're gonna be looking for is this string of text right here. So I'm gonna look for it. I can do that by Control F or Command F. And this is the string we are looking for. What we are actually going to be looking for is the chc.challengeapi.setscore function. And this is what will set our score in the game. So let's go ahead and move through here. There's an instance where they set the player's score. Let me just go ahead. I have a uh, file open up on my side right here. I just have this open up over here just so I can view it, uh, make it a little easier. So that's the function. Um, we don't necessarily have to edit the function. We just have to edit where it's called. So this is what we want to edit. So you can see it's used right here. We can put this to whatever value we want. We could do like a million or something. Um, but we thought also said it in one more place for the Facebook instance. Oh, it's right above it. FB instance that set score. So these are the two places we'll be changing it. Just highlight those for you guys. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go back to the browser, chart it navigate through this garbage. Okay, so now we're just looking for set score. We're currently looking at the function definition, but we just want to see what it's used. Here it is. So let's just replace this. Let's just say 1 million. You know what? We're going to go big. Let's go 1 billion. Should be good, shouldn't break the game. If you go over like two billion, maybe. And we have to also do this one more time so we can see our Facebook score update. Right here, Facebook instance. Just copy this number, make sure I get it right. All right, so that's the first part. So that will set your high score. But now we want coins and we also want all the characters in the gift shop, so. We could just max out our coins to get it, but I'll show you both ways. So let me open this back up. 
And we are going to be looking for, to get the skins, this A.player types. Should be close to the bottom. Okay, here it is. Uh, so I had changed these values already. And this is going to be the file I upload for you guys. But before, I think it went up to like 8,000 coins maybe, but I just changed it to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, etc. So if we go back to the browser, search for the same thing. Let's see. All right, the first one's free. Cool. We're going to make this one one coin. It's going to follow the same thing I did. And we're going to have to go down one line. Ay, ay, ay. Two, three. This is just saying one times 10 to the power of three or 1,000. Actually, highlights it for you. It's nice. This is 2,000, but now it's four, five, six, seven. Is there, there is another one. Okay. Eight. And that zombie skin is the current skin I was running in the beginning of the game. Remove the outline. Okay, well, that's how you set your skins. Now, one more. Uh, let's just modify the coin values. So we can make this literally whatever we want. Uh, I'd be careful, though, of making it too large of a number. I'm probably going to just stick at 100, but feel free to go up to 1,000, 10,000. I mean, you set it to whatever you want. Go ahead and break the game. Everything's running locally. So let's go back to my notes. All right, here's the function, the add coins function. So I'm gonna copy this and paste it below. All right. So here, this dot coins plus equals, so saying whatever this coins is at the time, plus A is gonna be equal to the new coins value. So what we can do is just edit how much that's gonna be worth. So let's just say times 100. You know what, let's just do like 300. Maybe 333, three, three. yeah, it's a good number. Okay. That should be it for the modifications. So now you're going to have to save it. And this is where it's going to freeze. But it will eventually um, continue. It just has to compile. So right click and save. And you can see over here it froze. So I will resume the video um, as soon as it's ready to load. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention. I already clicked this, but in this top right corner, I've already hit the enable and continue button. So you just have to go ahead and do that to actually execute it. You can click it here, but it won't actually update. So I just suggest doing it in the inspector. All right, yeah, so that took about 10 minutes, finally finished. But you can see that the game is ready to play. It says play now. There's no more debugging interface here. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we can do is just uh, look at the shop. So you can see this person, Clara Bones, is one coin. So we can go ahead and buy her. Um, and you can look at the rest of the characters, two, three, four, five, and so on. So we already bought that guy, so buy this guy. So yeah, we'll just stick with Clara. And uh, yeah, so we'll go into it and just watch my coins as we go. You can see they're going up by uh, 333 each time. So I'm just making bank. So you don't even have to do the uh, character thing if you don't want to. So now when I die, let's see. Oh, I scored a million. Nope. One billion points, baby. All day. And uh, yeah, so that should be set in the game and in Facebook. So let's exit out. 
you can see right here, let me close this, that I have 1,000 points. Or, pff, 1 billion, sorry. 1 billion points. Um, that does it for today. If you guys have any suggestions on future games I should look into, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Thank you for watching.